Hello friends, welcome to Oracle concept video series. This video is based on one of the use case that I have used in my recent project. First let me tell you what is the scenario is about, then I will show you the demo of the same. So the scenario is, I have a CSV file having information like this. And the expectation is, I need to load this information into Oracle database. But the challenge here is, the file contains character from different language. So in this sample data file, I have text from different languages like Arabic, Greek, Chinese, Japanese, etc. Of course, you can implement this using n number of methods. I'm going to show you loading the data using SQL Loader and it is one of the easiest and simplest way to load the data. If you encounter a similar situation in your real-time scenario, it's really worth to evaluate this option. Since this video is based on the SQL Loader, if you haven't used SQL Loader to load the data, I would suggest you to watch this video for better understanding. So the link of this video is given in the description. Okay, now let me show you how to load the data using SQL Loader. Okay, since I have already created the table, let me just drop and re recreate the table. So I've just created a table called T underscore data with two column like C underscore language and C underscore text. So here is the content of the CSV file. As you can see here, there are two information. One is a language information which are going to load into the C underscore language column and the text information which contains information from a different languages. Okay, so basically we are just going to use the SQL loader. So here is the SQL loader command. I'm just going to connect to the database and I'm just going to use the control file which I have already created. So basically the control file will just point to the source file and the target table and its mapping. Okay, let me first execute this SQL loader statement. As you can see here, it has successfully loaded eight record. Now let us try to query from this table and see whether the data has been loaded successfully or not. Okay, now you can see here the data is actually loaded, but the problem is the data is not loaded as per the character set. For example, if you see here, the Arabic character in the text file is different rather than what you are seeing in the database. Same goes for the other languages also. So this is the simple challenge which you generally face when you use the SQL loader. Okay, instead of loading like this, you just need to set one uh, language setting let me show you that okay now what we are going to do let me uh, we are just going to set the NS, nls underscore lang parameter to american underscore america dot utfa okay let me set it okay now what i'm going to do i'm just going to load i'm just going to execute the same command but after setting this parameter okay now let me re-execute it now what happens is this SQL loader command again truncated the table and reloaded the data. Let me execute the select statement again. Now if you see here, the data is loaded in the same language character set. Let me again show you one more time. So if I run without setting this because in the uh, left side window, I haven't set that parameter. So if I execute the SQL loader without setting the NLS lang parameter, what happens is the data will be loaded but with some other character set instead if you just set this and then if you execute your sql loader command the data will be loaded in a proper data set as you can see here the japanese character and chinese character like whatever is there in the text file is actually loaded as it is if you have learned something new please like this video if you want any other questions to be answered please post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id but before that you can check whether a similar question has already been posted as part of the interview question series or as part of the subscriber question series. Thanks a lot for watching this video.